Hi, and welcome to this on-air talk session titled The Power of Photorealistic Virtual Sets on Live Productions. Hello, my name is Pedro Duarte and I'm Program Manager for PCR and MCR products at Double Division. Together we will show you how you can make your next show using Unreal Engine and Double Division's own Artree Space Engine. We will start by giving you a brief overview of Double Division's virtual set stack of composite signals and chroma keyers and explain how augmented reality can fit nicely into a virtual reality workflow. We will also show you our controller's integration with Unreal Engine and how that allows us to do more with a virtual set than is traditionally done and how that can be merged nicely into your show's rundown and be controlled without having to break the bank with extra equipment and operators. This will lead us into talking about Double Division Studio CG Video and Graphics Controller, which will be the common center of all we are doing here today, both in virtual set graphics, augmented reality graphics, as well as driving all inputs and clip layouts in this and every other on Air Talks presentation. We will take a brief look at what it looks like to be able to do this from a unified rundown and how quickly you can transition into your next show using this tech stack. We will also draw, dive a little bit deeper into this studio we are standing in and give you a tour of the place to help you see how you may want to set up your next green screen cyclorama with robotic cameras and jump into the virtual set train yourself. We will also show you some examples of virtual sets we have used in production so you can see the type of output to expect from a system like this. So let's get started. Let's go. So let's start by telling you what makes up WT Vision's virtual set stack of technology components. In the very back, we are standing in a green screen cyclorama. And we have a set of four cameras that sit or hang on either a robotic pan tilt head, or in the case of our main camera, hanging from the ceiling in an elevator pedestal that is riding an inverted dolly that gives us a nice range for our director to frame his shot and plan his camera motion. In our small set, which, just, which is just a room in our main office in Lisbon, Portugal, we are using Blackmagic cameras with Canon lenses and Telemetrics robotics. But as you may have guessed, the specific brands of cameras, lenses, and either robotics or tracked heads you end up choosing for your setup should be just fine for setting up a system like this. There are several industry standing tracking protocols and we will support those. Lens distortion information is also created to a specific brand and model of a lens, but also for each specific lens you have in your studio. That will make it graphics tie perfectly with your real assets on the set, such as this podium or even me and Pedro. Moving on, in the background, you will see a studio rendered in Unreal Engine. The sets can be designed in your favorite 3D modeling package and imported directly to Unreal Engine. You then hand a Double Division plugin component into your scene to allow the system to move the camera as the real camera moves and also to allow you to manipulate the scene from Double Division's controllers. This gives us the virtual set. Now, to mix in the live presenters, let's not call them talent in this presentation as it wouldn't be very accurate, we have a downstream chroma keyer that takes a few outputs from the system and mixes everything together into one final composite. In our studio, we are using Ultimat 12 chroma keyers from Blackmagic and these can take a camera feed, a garbage mat, fill and key graphics and a background and we are feeding all these signals from a single machine. The way we do this is with a synchronized second engine, this time the R3 Space Engine from W Division. Well, now R3 is designed for on-air graphics workflows, and so it's very agile to taking graphics in and out, transitioning between them using our own IntelliFlow. And this is what you need for displaying the information you want as to convey as on-air graphics. This time, however, you may do so in augmented reality, R3 Space Engine takes the same tracking information as an Unreal Engine and provides a dynamic layer to your virtual set project that can be linked to your newsroom system or simply to Studio CG for an easy operation. Now, Studio CG is the control application to manage this workflow, and we will see how that is done in a moment. Finally, the stack is repeated per camera we have in the studio, so in the control room, you are able to direct your show with all cameras fully backed by VR and AR graphics. Each output of camera stack operates as a camera in your switcher, so you operate normally as if you are in a real studio set. 
Well, some of the things that this setup allows you to do is to control your set as if it were any other on-air graphic. We can move objects in the Unreal Engine's layer, change their properties, including text, colors, and textures. These are transparently made available to the on-air graphic scenes, and so you can combine background and foreground information simultaneously in a fully integrated way. We can also bring in live inputs into Unreal Engine to conduct interviews or do live reporting. As you can see. Or, in this case, we can also have Double Division's media server that is a part of this stack to be able to play out your show's net video clips. Let's roll one of those now to show you how the system is being operated in the control room. The set itself may be used to complement your CG information, such as using a large panoramic screen in an over-the-shoulder of sorts. And you also can use other space on your virtual set to do some Skype call if you want with outside guests. Hi. Hi, Daniela. <laughs> Now, at the start of the session, we showed you a view from a virtual camera that is also a part of this room's setup. It is a fourth fixed camera sitting right there that allows for much more dynamic camera moves and virtually increase the size of the set by as much as you want. Using the real tracked cameras with this billboarding effect, I can combine both for maximum effect. Let me ask our control room operator to switch off the chroma key effect so we can see what that looks like now. So. The chroma key in this case is being done inside Unreal Engine and controlled through a double division chroma picker tool. So, how do we control all this stuff? It's easy. We use our PCR controller called Studio CG. Studio CG manages multiple engines at the same time and can also control different vendors' engines, such as VizRT, Avid, and ROS engines. In this setup, we have several R3 Space Engine channels running. The controller application has a tied to the screen engine for lower thirds and a second engine for full screen graphics. Those go into mixers, SDK, and allow me to show name straps like these you see in front of me now. The full screen graphics go to a separate output and I can route that to an Unreal Engine's input so it shows in the back there. As you see, these outputs are identified in interface, but the operator only needs to select a rundown item and take it into air. It will show up in the right engine automatically. If I open Output Manager in Studio, you can see the outputs being managed by this single controller. There's a preview engine, a normal screen or 2D engine for on-air graphics, a full screen engine, and a three engine set as part of a compo composite group. Any graphics sent to this group gets sent to all engines automatically. Now these engines have tracking enabled, so let's call up an AR graphic in my rundown. Well, as Alex edits the controls form that corresponds to the data being displayed, he can change the values and save his graphic page. By taking it to air, we can see it's using the pose information from the robotics to stay, stay tied to the set. Let's move the master camera and see how that looks. I will ask our director to switch between the cameras that we have. As you can see, the result is a realistic AR graphic that is being shown in all cameras and perspectives. Besides the AR graphics, let me show you something in the background as well. I will launch this graphic. Now, this graphic doesn't have any foreground information, but instead shows the information in the giant screen in the background. This is being done solely in Unreal Engine, but to the operator, it's the exact same experience, as if we were calling a lower third graphic. So now, to keep costs down, we decided for our office PCR that we will not have camera operators and opted for a fully robotic system. This allows me to make predefined camera moves that may rehearse to transition nicely between segments, having this premium feel to my show. As we mentioned previously, a single Studio CG controller manages all three camera channels, the screen space overlay CG engine, a preview engine, and the clip player 
meaning a total of eight graphic engine channels or discrete engines, and in this case, a single media server in a single unified single operator interface. That is not to say that these tasks cannot be spread out in your control room to better separate responsibilities and concerns during your show. And for example, have an operator for the set controls, an operator for the CG, and a third operator for a clip playback, for example. This is just to demonstrate the power of Studio as an integrated controller. Now, if you, if you want to try to do more with a single operator, it's likely that you will have to move the editing responsibilities of your CG operator to journalists upstream and have them prepare their own graphics both for their pre-recorded stories as well for the live inserts in this show. For this, Studio integrates well with most enabled workflows and has plugins for most major newsroom computer systems such as NPS, iNews and others. We dive more deeply into this workflow in a dedicated Studio CG on-air talk by Jose Pereira, Studio CG Technical Product Manager. Let's end this presentation by showing you some studio work in real virtual and augmented reality settings so you can better understand what's possible with this solution. That's what we have for you in this talk. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to check out our other sessions on Studio CG, Channel Maker, our sports offerings and much more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.